In this problem, we're asked to create a frequency table for the given set of data, and it specifies the frequency table should contain five classes. Then we are to select the correct choice for the fourth class in terms of the class limits. And to do this problem, we'll use the TI-83, making sure it's turned on. We'll first go to the stat enter key, which will bring us to the class lists, and we'll put the data set into list 1. And now with those 15 values into list 1, we'll go to the stat calculate menu, and we're going to calculate the one variable statistics for list 1. And what we're specifically interested in is the range of the data. The range of the data is gotten by subtracting the maximum minus the minimum. So we see that the range of data for our data set is 41. And now we're going to take the range and divide by the number of classes that we want in our frequency table, which in this case is 5. I can just hit divide by 5, and when I hit enter, I see that the answer is 8.2. This is going to give me the class width of the frequency table, and the rule is to take the number that is here, 8.2, and round up to the next number, which is going to be 9. Rounding off would give 8, but in this case we're rounding up, so we have 9. So now we know that the class width is 9, and to see our histogram, which is going to correspond to the frequency table, we'll go to the Stat Plot button, select Plot 1, turn it on, and then come down to Type and select histogram. Once we're on histogram, we'll press enter, and we're going to ask the calculator to attempt to draw a histogram for the data that we have in list one. To do that, we'll just simply hit zoom, and then the number nine. And here we have the calculator's attempt at the histogram for the data contained in this list. However, if we look carefully, we see that there are actually six classes. Our problem specifies five classes, which we'll then be able to put into a frequency table containing five classes. To get that histogram that corresponds to the frequency table we're after, we need to go to the window. And in the window, we see that the minimum value is 5, and that the x scale is 8.2. The x scale corresponds to the class width. In graphing a histogram using the TI-83, the x minimum value should be the lower class boundary of the first class, and here we have the lower class limit of the first class is 5. So to get the lower class boundary of the first class, we'll subtract 0.5, so this will become 4.5, and then if we come down to the x scale, we'll put in the new class width that we determined, which was 9. Now, we'll ask to see the graph with these changes. We'll not hit Zoom 9. Instead, we'll hit the Graph key. If we were to hit Zoom 9, we just go back to the histogram that we had originally. Now hitting Graph, we see that indeed we do have a histogram with five classes. Using the Trace key, I can see that the lower class boundary of the first class is 4.5, and that the upper class boundary of the first class is 13.5. That means that the limits for the first class will be 5 and 13. This problem asks for the limits of the fourth class, so using the right arrow, we'll go to the fourth class. We see the frequency of the fourth class is 1. The lower class boundary is 31.5, and the upper class boundary is 40.5. So that the correct choice for the fourth class in terms of class limits will be 32 to 40. Had this question asked for the boundaries of the fourth class, we could have read that directly off of the histogram, and the answer would be 31.5 to 40.5. Notice that in order to go from the boundaries to the limits, we have to add 0.5 to the lower boundary 
and subtract 0.5 from the upper boundary to get to the lower limit and the upper limit respectively.